Hi, my name is Jodie Bunting and welcome to this very special Loser with Jodie live from JD Gym in Derby. Now, a lot of people in my class ask me, Jodie, what can I do to tone up this, to tone up my six pack, my tummy, whatever you want to call it. And to be honest with you, I haven't got a six pack. I don't hide the fact. So what we're doing today is we're bringing in a six pack expert. Welcome, Benji! <laughs> Hi guys, apparently I'm a six pack expert. <laughs> <laughs> well, he has a six pack, therefore, to be honest, it's quite hard to get a six pack, isn't it? Yeah. It's not easy. No, it's not. Um, people tend to think that if you do 100 sit-ups a day or whatever, they're going to get a six pack. Um, but the reality of it is, you can't actually get a six pack without a low body fat percentage. And the only way you're going to get that is by eating correctly, monitoring your calories, getting that uh, body fat rate right down into about 11% you'll start seeing, seeing the abs. For your information, my body fat percentage is about 50%. <laughs> I've got a while to go yet, haven't I? You'll be fine. <laughs> Just keep the diet up and keep exercising and, and you'll get the abs. That's it. So what is your body fat percentage? Nine. Nine percent. Nine percent body fat. Yeah. And normally athletes, generally, you know, Olympic athletes, mm. they're all about five percent. Yeah, that right? it, it depends on what they do. If they're a runner, they're going to be five, six percent. Um, then if you're looking at aesthetic people, bodybuilders and stuff like that, you tend to go up to about uh, 10 to 15. And then the average, I think it's 21 percent. 21 percent. I've got a little bit of way to go to that still. You'll get what that. about Tom Daly, for instance, one of our favourite swimmers? Yeah. Um, 5%? Yeah, he's about 5%. More? He's pretty ripped. Um, but he's quite skinny, isn't he? he is, I've seen a lot yeah. of people say this. You know, a little bit of personal training banter. Oh, he hasn't got a six pack. He's just 0% yeah, body fat. And I can, t I can tell you how to get around that. And uh, basically, your abs are like any other muscle. Sure, you can make them show by having a low body fat percentage. But if you want to actually make them pop out, like that brickwork look, yes. then you do have to put weight on it. So weighted abs are a good way to go. If you've already got really, if you're really skinny, you've got the line, you know, you've got the V, but you haven't got the block abs, do some weighted abs, some rope pull downs, um, and some, some weighted um, hanging leg raises, things like that. So it's just like your biceps. If you put a lot of weight on it, they get bigger. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So for you guys out there who are watching, if you've got any questions, feel free to ask. Um, so just before we go into the ab exercises, everybody is now asking, okay, so if I don't work my abs to get this six pack, mm. diet wise, what should I do? What are your top tips for diet wise? Bearing in mind, yeah. most of my watchers are kind of the over 50 female. Right, okay. So we're not talking to the general JD member, which no. is, to be honest, a little bit younger than that. Mm -hmm. So for an older lady, maybe they like a little bit of wine now and again. <laughs> you know, right. what are the top tips? Is it cutting out wine? Um, yes and no. Um, cutting out wine would be a great start. One, because it's dehydrating you and, and, and you're going to hold more water if you're dehydrated. I know that sounds a bit backwards, but if your body thinks that you've got enough water, it won't store it. So a lot of water people, especially um, women over 50, they're holding a lot of water here, yeah. a lot of water on their armpits, a lot of the bingo wings. Um, so a good way to get rid of that is smash the water. So I'm talking not just two litres a day, three to five litres of water a day. Just to flush the just system. Just to flush the system and cut the wine. Um, however, there's no reason you can't lose body fat and drink wine at the same time. It's all about regulating your calories. So people say, oh, I have to eat chicken and rice every day for every meal, blah, blah, blah. I mean, yeah, it helps, but if you regulate your calories, you can tend to eat what you want. I eat pizza quite a lot, I eat McDonald's, and I've still got a low body fat percentage, and that's because I regulate my calories. So I basically say, right, I need to keep it this amount of calories a day to make sure I'm staying lean. Whatever I eat within the day has to add up to the calories, it doesn't matter what it is. Excellent. So this is, your, this is your number one thing, is obviously just to watch that calorie count. Yeah, everyone has a different maintenance calorie. So you, you can take your, I think it's your weight and your height, and you work out how many calories a day you need um, to stay the same as you are. The rule of thumb is dropping 500 calories off that. It's called a calorie deficit. So if you're dropping 500 calories off of your maintenance calories a day, you'll lose weight. It's, it's as simple as that. Now, people new to exercise and people like myself who are getting back into exercise, mm. 
I feel so hungry after I've exercised. Yeah. What can we do about this? Because, you know, this is my biggest problem because I'm teaching so much. Yeah. I just want to eat, eat, eat. 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 Yeah. Absolutely. And again, regulate your calories. So the best times to eat, the best feeding windows is before and after exercise. Because if you're having calories, you want to be able to use it. Okay, so if you're eating throughout the day when you're sat at your desk at work, you're not using those calories. Whereas if you save yourself a little bit, eat before, about 45 minutes before, and then have your big meal straight after you work out, then you're replenishing your body, you're using all the calories that are going in, you're not storing any as fat. Um, so that's probably the best way to get around it, is listen to your body. If you're hungry after you work out, eat after you work out. And then, and then save the rest of the calories for when you're next hungry. <laughs> We've been told, guys. Mm. Right, let's just have a look who is watching. We'll have a quick shout out. Hi, Tracy. Hi, Andrea. Hi, Mandy. Hi, Jan, Michelle, Rena. Okay, you nearly missed it. You're with us. Uh, Natasha needs to book a session. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Chanel. Hi, guys. Welcome to our live video. As I said, feel free to ask any questions. We are, in a moment, going to be doing some ab um, exercises. Um, but there is an online course. You do do an online course. So it yeah. doesn't matter wherever you live. You don't need to be in Derby. Uh, what is this online course? I have an online course. It's called... Um how to get abs, <laughs> it's very simple. <laughs> and basically the online course is it's a follow, on, uh, follow along video. So it'll be me doing ab workouts, there's 10 different ab workouts, there's seven normal ab workouts, and then there's uh, three extreme ab workouts for when you get more used to it. It's as simple as just watching the video and following along with it. Along with the workout videos, you also have lectures on nutrition, hydration, and everything you need to know about how to get abs. Um, and uh, I believe if we post this video, you'll be able to post a link. Yes. So what I'll do for you guys is I'll discount it, and I'll send Jody a discounted link, and we'll give you the ab workout in the link for... Let's say 10 pounds. Yeah, that's pretty cheap. That it? sounds great. Okay. So pounds. when we finish the video, we will put the discounted video link here. Mm. Now, before we get going, Olga's saying hi. Hi, Olga. Hello. Before we get going, we need a little bit of motivation. Yes. What will motivate you to work your to me? That is to look at a great six pack. Now, <laughs> I knew this was going to happen. <laughs> okay. A lot of JD members out there, they've seen your Instagram. I they've seen these, lighting, these wonderful abs. So, yeah. can we please show the, yes, the viewers I'll get them your out six quickly. pack? Okay. This is motivation, guys. Check this out. Can we have some likes, guys? Can you click <laughs> that like button? That's this, what we're getting. <laughs> this is what we want to achieve. So now we're going to show you, yep. once we've sorted our diet out, we're going to show you the exercises. So I'm now going to go down on the floor. Right. I'm not the normal sort of model uh, Benji has, but let's go. <laughs> right. Okay. Tell me what to do. So, how we start, I would usually go for, I want to be able to work my lower abdominals and my upper abdominals. I always want, also want to work my obliques. So I'm going to think, right, I need to get the exercises to hit all three spots. So the first thing you're going to hit is your lower abdominals. So we're going to yeah. do bicycle kicks. Okay? okay? So your knees up, your hands go over your head, and you're going elbow to knee. Opposite elbow to opposite knee. Okay? And this is a good way to warm up your entire um, abs. Okay? I'd probably start with about 20 of those, if you want to do 20. Just 20? Yeah, four sets of 20 sets. <laughs> <laughs> Does that start, cousin? Yeah. <laughs> I think that's 20. Okay, brilliant. And then still hitting the lower abs, I'd probably do some cross-body crunches. So if you stick your legs right out straight, yep. and just stick them on the ground, hands right out straight over your head, so you're like a plank, and then you're going to take your right hand, and you're going to touch your left leg right in the middle of your body. But I also want you to lift your head, your shoulders, and your lower back. That's it. So you're using your whole body to get into the middle there. And 10 each side, so that's 20 again. Can we see? I'm in your way. <laughs> there we go. Now, you do do an abs class as well here at JD. I do an abs yeah. class. Yeah. When's it's, that? Well, the abs class is actually today. Um, Yay! So I start a HIIT training class at 8 o'clock, and that will go to 8.30. And at 8.30 to 8.45 p.m. every Tuesday, I do an abs class at JD. Everyone's welcome to come, as long as you're a member. Um, I've done. You've done? <laughs> not yet, we've not. 
Okay, so next what I would probably do is work on a bit on your upper abs. So just the position you're in now is perfect. I want you to get your hands over your knees and we're going to do some crunches, okay? But you double pulse crunch. So I want you to come up and up and down. And then up, up, down. And we're going to do 12 of those. Just 12, that's good. Yeah, just 12. <laughs> and this is all one set, by the way. So you're going to do all the exercises again four times. <laughs> In the class tonight. In the class tonight. <laughs> so with abs, you can do either sets of a certain amount of repetitions, uh, doing 20, 10s, things like that. Or what I find really effective is if you time it. So if you have a minute on, 30 seconds off, a minute on, 30 seconds off, um, it helps engage the abs a bit more. A lot of people in my class, they say that the, the back of their neck is hurting when they do this, is that normal? It is normal because at the end of the day you're, you're tensing your body up as, you, as, you, as you're raising up. There's not really much you can do about it other than try to relax your neck. Uh, maybe have a bit of a neck stretch beforehand um, and a bit of a shoulder stretch as well. Well that's one. There we go. Right. Done my 12. Done your 12. Let's finish with some obliques. So the obliques are the side parts of your abs. Okay. Yeah. So what I want you to do is sit up and we're going to do some Russian twists. So you're going to put your legs in the air like that or on the ground, it depends whatever you want to yeah. do. Yeah. Hands go up. Hands. Hands. Yeah. So we're going to do some Russian <laughs> twists. Yeah, you've got to balance. You can do it with your legs on the floor. And then you're going to go side to side. That's it. Perfect. So just twist. Twist. You can do this with the weight in your hand as well. It helps. Yeah. So I've seen these guys in the gym where they put the stick on the back of their neck. That's yeah, very to old stretch, school, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, to stretch their back out and stretch the. Oh, it's not to work their waist? No, well, it depends. You can do it if it's weighted. Am I doing it right? Yeah. I but can feel it. Yeah, as long as you can feel it, then you're doing it right. <laughs> How many am I doing? We'll do 20. I think you've done more than 20. Ah! <laughs> oh. right. so Jody has abs now. <laughs> <laughs> Under there somewhere. <laughs> right guys, any more questions before we go on our live video? Welcome Debbie, welcome Pam, hi Claire. Hi guys. Olga, welcome guys, thank you for joining us. As I said, we will post a link for you to join the online abs course with Benji. And also, of course you can subscribe to his Instagram, which yep. is? At Benji Taylor Official. Benji Taylor official search Instagram now follow him the motivation will be in your Instagram there I and then. <laughs> right guys thank you very much Cheers, for guys. watching us Ben I'm gonna put Benji through a little dance workout now you can watch it later on tonight at youtube.com forward slash Jody Bunting bye for now See you later.